What I'd like to do now is talk about the ACI approximate moment coefficients. Here's the actual scan from the ACI code. Since it's copyrighted, I felt like I, I shouldn't post it, so I've highlighted, I've uh, erased out the numbers. But I just want you to see what it actually looks like. These are the words, and, and in here, which I deleted um, up here, um, in this column up here, uh, are the actual moments like WL squared over 16 or 14 or whatever it is. And all you have are these descriptions. And this is not the easiest thing in the world to read or understand. What I'm going to do is show you what they mean. So positive in the end span, positive end span, that means here. Okay. And then positive and interior spans means up in here. And then discontinuous and integral with the support means this. So this number is right there. Well, this number means that condition and the actual number is for here. This condition discontinuous and unrestrained means pin. And this number is the moment right there. Uh, the negative moments, there, there are several options for these. These are at the supports. And so uh, this one right here, interior face of exterior support. Interior face of exterior support is this negative moment right here. Okay. And uh, what that means, it depends if the member built integrally with a supporting spandrel beam. So here, spandrel beam, that means this. That's a spandrel beam, and so this number goes right there. Member built integrally with supporting column, that means this picture right here, and this number is right there. <clears throat> Exterior, so this is funny, exterior face of the first interior support. What does that mean? That, and it doesn't matter if it's uh, coming into a spandrel beam or column, it just matters if there's two spans or more than two spans, but exterior face of the first interior support is this right there. So these two, this moment here is there, this moment, is there depending if it's one two spans or more than two spans and then face of all supports satisfying a or b um, <clears throat> that's for slabs and what face of all other supports this one here is there this table is a little difficult to read if you're not used to it. So what I've done is I've taken the numbers from these tables and I feel like I can show the following picture because I made it, uh, is this. So I've taken these words and those numbers and I've put them into here. And so these are all the ones that are two spans. And this is more than two spans. And these are the ones coming into columns. And these are the ones coming into spandrel beams. And this is the one coming into a simple support. And I've, I've written in the negative and positive moments for all the cases. In particular, what I would like you to look at is see how it goes from zero for pinned up to WL squared for 16 coming into a column. And a spandrel is not as stiff as a column, so that's a little lower. And if you remember from uh, an indeterminate structural analysis class, a fixed end has a moment of WL squared over 12, which is even higher. We never quite get all the way up to fixed end. We get up to over 16. And so that's what's happening. And if you remember my little lecture on total static moment, um, as you make that exterior moment bigger, this interior moment has to get smaller. So you can see that from there, this has gotten smaller as the negative moment gets bigger. And they don't actually change it for this one. Anyway, oh, 
And the last name is a slab because it's not that stiff compared to a beam. It does get the full fixed end moment as long as the slab is less than 10 feet in the span. Okay, that's how you read the ACI moment, approximate moment sheet that I've provided for you. My, I'm talking to the people in my class. That's uh, that, ACI approximate moments.